Hello, I'm glad to see you here. I'm Granny Ricky and this is Storytime for Serena and for everybody else who would like to listen. Today the story we're reading is called The Gingerbread Man. In this edition, The Gingerbread Man was rewritten by Jackie Andrews and the beautiful pictures that we're going to see in this book were drawn by Terry Burton. Once upon a time, a little old woman and a little old man lived together in a little old house in the country. Their children were all grown up, and the little old woman and the little old man were lonely. So one day, while she was baking, the old woman decided to make a little gingerbread man. She rolled out the dough and cut it into the shape of a little gingerbread man. She gave him currants for eyes, raisins for buttons and some red sugar for a mouth. Then she called the little old man to see what the, what the sweet little fellow the gingerbread man would be and she put the pan into the oven to bake. Sometime later when she thought the gingerbread man was done she opened the oven and took out the gingerbread man. With a bump and a jump, the gingerbread man leaped to the floor. Out of the house he ran, calling back over his shoulder, Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. The little old woman and the little old man ran out of the house and down the road after him. But they couldn't catch the gingerbread man. Soon he met a cat and the cat said, Not so fast, little gingerbread man. I want to eat you. Meow. The little gingerbread man ran on and as he ran he called back over his shoulder, Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm a gingerbread man. And the cat could not catch him. So the little gingerbread man ran on until he met a dog and the dog said, Not so fast, little gingerbread man. I want to eat you. Woof, woof. But the little gingerbread man only ran faster and as he ran he called out, I've run away from a little old man and a little old woman, a cat, and I can run away from you too. That I can. He skipped merrily along singing, Run, run as fast as you can, you can't catch me, I'm a gingerbread man. So he ran on and they all ran after him down the road, but they could not catch him. By and by, the gingerbread man met a cow. Here's the cow behind the tree. And the cow said, Not so fast, gingerbread man. I want to eat you. Moo. But the little gingerbread man only ran faster and as he ran he called out, I've run away from a little old woman and a little old man, a cat, a dog, and I can run away from you too, that I can. And he skipped merrily down the road singing, run, run as fast as you can, you can't catch me. I'm a gingerbread man. So he ran on and they all ran after him, but they could not catch him. By and by he met a pig and the pig said, Stop, gingerbread man, I want to eat you. The gingerbread man ran on and as he ran he called back over his shoulder, I've run away from a little old woman and a little old man, a cat, a dog, a cow, and I can run away from you too, that I can. As he skipped merrily down the road singing, Run, run as fast as you can, You can't catch me, I'm a gingerbread man. So he ran on and they all ran after him, but they could not catch him. Gosh, look at all them, the old woman, the old man and the cow and the pig the dog and the cat and there runs the gingerbread man 
running faster than any of them can. Presently, however, the little old man and the little old woman stopped, for they were completely out of breath and could not go a single step further. Then the cat stopped, and the dog stopped, and the cow stopped, and they all watched while the little gingerbread man and the pig ran merrily along. But soon even the pig had to stop for a rest. After a while, the gingerbread man passed a fox sitting on a tree stump and he called out, Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm a gingerbread man. The fox only laughed. So the little gingerbread man sang out over his shoulder. I've run away from a little old woman and a little old man, a cat, a dog, a cow and a pig. And I can run away from you too. That I can. The fox got up from the tree stump and he said, but I don't want to catch you, so why do you run away from me? The little gingerbread man stopped running and the fox said, Well, as long as we are going down the same road, don't you think we might as well walk along together? So they went on and on, and after a while they came to the bank of a very wide stream. The little gingerbread man looked this way and looked that way, but there was no bridge across the stream. Just jump on my back, said the fox, and I will help you cross across the stream. So the little gingerbread man jumped on the fox's back and the fox started to swim across the water. After a while, the stream got deeper and the fox said, Get on my shoulders, little gingerbread man, or you will get all wet and melt away. Once more, the water got deeper and the fox said, Now get up, up on my head, gingerbread man. So the gingerbread man got up on the fox's head. Snap! went the fox, and the gingerbread man was half gone. Snap! went the fox again, and the gingerbread man was all gone. But that was all right. Gingerbread men are made to be eaten, and the little old woman made another one the very next day. And that's the end of the story. I think that was a sly fox that tricked the gingerbread man into climbing onto his back and then to climb onto his head and then whoop, snap he swallowed the gingerbread man look at him licking his lips that was a really good story thank you so much for joining me i hope you'll be back again tomorrow when we have a new story enjoy the others on the channel and please subscribe see you soon bye bye serena bye bye everybody Mwah!